Hello, everyone. We are broadcasting live from the big sleazy inside the Terror Dome, where the fans have been drinking since Friday. <laughs> Decked out in purple, green, and gold, screaming for some violent action. <laughs> kind of like you last night up Bourbon Street, huh, Grim? And last night never happened. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Los Scandalous Volts go up against the New Gorland Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. <laughs> And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. I knew when the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. He goes, hello now. Third down and six. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a scoop for the first down. And it's first and ten. Holds him to a four yard pickup there. <laughs> Second down and six. <laughs> and that is caught for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Third down and, well, good luck. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. 
MFL. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the... And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. There's no reason to go. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. since they're fake. Just go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face and the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick the only thing the qb can do now is run for his life or die
Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a... He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he runs it in for the touchdown. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Three. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. 
And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second down and four. Under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. They have two left. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he was stuck to him like glue. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Man, this coach, they used their second timeout, but they're running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. He 
was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that'll be their final timeout. Second down and 10. Picks up maybe four on that play. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Wim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tease show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Yeah, Just pet your rabbit. Get him now. Get him now. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. He is rolling thunder and devastating hit knocks the ball loose. He scores! Yeah, if there's one thing I can't stand is a pretty boy who thinks he can dance. Oh, God. Although I am quite a fan of guts and finger fake. Oh, quite the entertainer he is. I would have to agree with you, Grim. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. away from that tackle. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> the ground game 
should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Bill, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Third down and eight. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to... Oh, nice hit! <laughs> First and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the boot Wooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. First and ten. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. 
down. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. quarterback many passing lanes to hit a receiver nice block by the defense there third down and eight this is going to be a long kick Let's see if he can make it. Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy grim. <laughs> Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. You gotta take bribes if you're a ref, Bricks. They get paid peanuts next to these players. It's hard to make a decent living. Mm, even harder when you're dead. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, don't... Well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice camp, and it turns... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Bring up third down and seven. And he's held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a Sonic Blast dirty trick. Well, my ears are bleeding. Another thing I can blame quarterbacks for. Not that you ever run out of reasons to hate them, Junior. Got that right. Third down and six. I'm a house camel on Silo. I am a hell of a
Now they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And it's first and ten. Your point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, with the punishing hit. Third down and six. He just picked the receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. It's just the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a solid Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First and four. for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided-out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and... And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of... That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. 
And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's Max Stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth, and that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned, because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Grim, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Uh, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Second and three. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. This werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tate's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Brent. The New Orleans Zombies had their guts and ate them, too, and went at home. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Why well, pay for admission? I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap now. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Oh, me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? That's the best. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off.
Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.